In this video, I'm going to share with you a story similar to TK's story where he manifested $84,000 in just a few weeks. This is a duplication to that exact testimonial, but someone that wanted to test the so-called law of percentages and use that to see if he can recreate it. That way, he could definitively know whether imagination creates reality or not. And what he soon finds out is what you imagine or what you're picturing in your mind or what you're doing as you're falling asleep will actually be created into your world. So his skepticism is no longer existent after he tests this thesis. So let's go ahead and jump right into the testimonial, okay? So this man had a sequel to the most interesting duplication of TK's good fortune with the Caliente racetrack and winning $84,000. His first win took care of his immediate financial difficulties, although he wanted more money for future family security. Also, more important to him, he wanted to prove that this had not been an accident. He also reasoned that if his good luck could happen a second time in succession, the so-called law of percentages would give way to proof for him that his imaginal structures were actually producing this miraculous reality. And so he dared to put his imagination to a second test. So what he's saying here is he wants to do this just to prove that imagination creates reality because the chances of this happening with the law of percentages is that it's, it can't happen exactly like TK's experience. So he wanted to put that to the test. And if it works out the same way, then it gives way to the law of, or so-called law of percentages. And that it would prove to him that imagination does create reality, that you can manipulate your world by using your imagination in this way. So here's where he continues. I wanted a sizable bank account, and this to me meant seeing a large balance on my bank statements. Therefore, in my imagination, I enacted a scene which took me into two banks. In each bank, I would see an appreciative smile meant for me from the bank manager as I walked into his establishment, and I would hear the teller's cordial greeting I would ask to see my statement in one bank, I saw a balance of $10,000. In the other bank, I saw a balance of $15,000. All right, so this is his imaginal act. This is what he's doing in his imagination. He's creating a scene where he's going into two separate banks and he sees the bank manager smiling at him in his imagination, in his imaginal act. Then he sees his bank, one of his bank balances at $10,000, which implies that it's already there. So he's thinking from it as if it's already happened. And then he sees his next bank balance, which is $15,000. So he's creating a total of $35,000 that he already has in his bank accounts right now in his imaginal act. But his imaginal scene did not end there. Immediately after seeing his bank balances, he would turn his attention to the horse racing system, which through a progression of 10 steps would bring his winnings to $11,533 with a starting capital of $200. And he said he would divide the winnings into 12 piles on his desk, counting the money in his imaginary hands, he would put $1,000 in each of the 11 piles and the remaining $533 in the last pile. So his imaginative accounting would amount to $36,533, including his bank balances. But I want to stop the story for a second, and I just want to point out his ability to focus, his the development of his mind, this man that's doing this, and even TK that was doing this, they had the ability to focus on one thing. They actually, it appears that they are able to really get in detail with these imaginal scenes and actually really create them well. So they have a really, really developed imagination. And a lot of times that's what's needed in order to create at this level, this manifestation level. If you wanna create things like this, you need to develop the muscle of your mind to be able to focus on one thing and be persistent and be consistent and live in the end during these imaginal scenes. Like you say, he's doing it in the morning, he's doing it in the afternoon, and he's doing it at night before he goes to sleep. And he's being very consistent with this and he's creating and scripting this scene very well that implies that this is already done. But this is the way that you do this. Okay, so he enacted this entire imaginative scene each morning, afternoon, and night for less than one month. And on March 2nd, 
he went to the Caliente racetrack. He made out tickets, but strangely enough, and not knowing why he did so, he duplicated six more tickets, exactly like the six already made out, but in the 10th selection, he made a mistake and copied two tickets twice. As the winners came in, he held two of them, each paying $16,423. He also had six consolation tickets, each paying $656.80. The combined total amounted to $36,788. All right, so his imaginary accounting in his imagination one month before this had totaled $36,533. So it's a little bit different, but two points of interest that were most profound to him were that by a seeming accident, he had marked two winning tickets identically and also that at the end of the ninth race, which was one of the major winners, the trainer attempted to scratch the horse, but the stewards denied the trainer's request. So once you faithfully imagine the end, there's gonna be a lot of things that are gonna happen in between that are gonna be strange and they're gonna, they're gonna happen by accident and all these other coincidences that are gonna happen, but the 3D world's gonna mold your imaginal act to take place, whatever needs to happen. Like in this case, he accidentally copied two tickets the same. And then the trainer attempted to scratch the horse, but the stewards denied that request. So all of these things happened and conspired because he was living faithfully in his imaginal act and doing it repetitively, falling asleep with it, impressed the subconscious mind with these things to happen. So everything just kind of fell into place. And so his imaginal act came into fruition into his 3D world. So if you would like to manifest things like this, but you find that you just can't visualize or your mind is just kind of out of focus, I'm gonna, I'm gonna post a card on the screen to a meditation that I have created and designed to assist you in developing this part of your imagination. That way you can start creating things just like this testimonial. You may find this meditation be a bit difficult when you first start it, but in any difficult venture, there's gonna be a great reward. And that reward is developing your mind, developing your imagination and developing a controlled imagination. That way you can create anything that you want to come into your life. Just like these testimonials, these successful testimonials are obvious to me that their minds are developed and they're able to visualize very well and create a scene very vividly. And that's what my meditation is designed for. So don't give up on it if you're not able to do it right away. Continue, be persistent, and I promise you that you will develop that part of the mind where you will be able to visualize and you will be able to create these scenes in the exact same way. And once you do that, you will find that you will be able to create and manifest anything that you want and there's nothing too big for you to conquer and to accomplish in your life. So I'm gonna post that video on the screen right now. Click on that video follow my instructions, listen to the story, and then create your imaginal act and fall asleep while doing that. All right, I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.